Jolene Mejia reporting for Kids First and today I'll be reviewing Flugel's Project Birthday Cake. These educational episodes would be great for younger kids to learn practical things. The animation is colorful, detailed, the characters besides the humans or humans are unique looking creatures. It was also interesting to look at the human household and human items from their smaller point of view. In the episodes, there are three main alien-like creatures. Their names are Captain Fleeker, Junior Boomer, and First Officer Flo. They live hidden inside the human's house. Fleeker, Boomer, and Flo explore around the house and try to learn more about the human ways. In this series, they encounter a birthday cake, some ice, a mirror, a banana, a toothbrush, sand, roller skates, a record player, and a jewelry box. Jules de Young voices Flo with authority and wisdom. Even though Flo isn't the captain, you can tell that she knows what she is talking about and that she is more mature than the other two boys. Junior Boomer is the complete opposite of Flo. His name fits him as he has a lot more to learn than Flo and Fleeker. Hugo Harold Harrison is able to portray through his voice that Junior Boomer is a lot younger and more immature. They use a mix of animation and real camera shots for the episodes. This brings the Flugels to life as they venture outside of their ship. It was interesting to look at the world we know so familiarly from a completely different point of view. To Fleeker, Boomer, Flo, and I, everything looked weird and abnormally large. It's like entering into a modern giant's house. My favorite scene was when they first discovered the birthday cake. Their facial expressions were so in awe of this great smelling piece of art in front of them. The birthday cake is based off of outer space and looks very delicious and colorful. This is my favorite scene because the scene is really where the flugels come to life. There isn't a moral or message in these episodes. The main purpose of these episodes is to educate younger viewers about the properties of everyday items and how to use them. For example, in the episode Project Ice, the Flugels teach viewers that ice can be used to keep things cool, but when it gets hot, it melts back into water. These episodes are great learning tools for younger viewers. I recommend this for the ages of 3 to 5. I give this film 5 out of 5 stars for the effort put into it. Check this film out on DVDs now. This is Jolene Mejia reporting for Kids First. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Make friends, tiny happy aliens. They're flugals. Three, two, one, let's go. Now available on DVD.